the reason you'd use this system in particular to grow oysters is because it makes the business model a sustainable business. Next year we should be able to sell half a million. Keith Butterfield calls this new flip system revolutionary. The first main oyster farmer to install one. It's an idea he discovered in New Zealand. An idea he touts will significantly save on labor. This system allows for you to stand upright. The baskets are on a swivel. You can open the basket up and dump it without lifting anything. Farming oysters, the traditional method, means a lot of lifting every day. Each basket can weigh 100 pounds, and one by one need to be pulled up, emptied, and flipped over. But the amount of labor to do that, it makes this not a sustainable business for a small family farm. A small family operation himself, Butterfield can now do mechanically in one hour what used to take him an entire day to accomplish by hand. The bottom line, allowing his company to produce more oysters at a cheaper cost per oyster. This system, this flip farm system, allows for you to increase production to well over a million oysters per worker per year. And that gives you the profit needed to run a farming operation. Though right now, Butterfields is the only main farm using this equipment, he hopes it's an idea that catches on. Most main oyster farms, he says, don't consider the others as competition. Instead, they work as a cooperative. I don't see them as my competitor at all whatsoever. So not only would I like to see them employ some of the mechanizations of Flip Farm, but I'm willing to share. And I think this is an opportunity for clusters of farms along our coastline to share equipment. Butterfield believes this flip system is only helping to make his a more sustainable business model. From the 200,000 oysters he'll sell this year, he predicts in two years, one million plus. More profits, and not to mention a cleaner Casco Bay. We're farming, and we're farming an animal that actually helps the water quality and the marine ecosystem. We need to rebuild our commercial fisheries. This is one component in that. We're improving our waters. And by the way, Butterfield's farm is located between Mosier and Little Mosier Islands. His brand of oysters called Mosier Island Royals.